The block modeling can be developed with regular equivalence rather than structural equivalence. Here, as, show, as shown in the example, it is sufficient that each uh, member of a block has at least a link to a node of the other block to assign one between the two blocks. It is the case for B2 to B3 here. To measure regular equivalence, a white and red proposed the REC algorithm, which is an iterative procedure estimating the degree of regular equivalence between pairs of actor I and G, with adjustment in light of equivalences of the adjacent nodes to and from members of the pairs, here K and M. So the numerator corresponds to how is ties to and from K actors uh, can match with the J's ties to and from the M actors. And the denominator corresponds to the maximum possible value of the numerator when the ties of I and J match perfectly and also the adjacent nodes also are regular equivalent. This index ranges from 0 to 1 and in general, according to Catherine Faust, three iterations are sufficient. I, I will present now a paper uh, of Alderson and Bakefield on power and position in the world city system that is a good example of the, of the use of this regular block model. So the aim of the paper is to test that city's position in the world network of firm corresponds to their country positions. They have data as headquarters and subsidiary of the 500 largest firms listed by Fortune, and all these um, headquarters and subsidiaries are located in 3,692 urban areas. So they have four different steps that I will detail now. So firstly, they measure a power uh, with our degree, closeness and betweenness ranking the cities with this uh, structural measure. They also measure the prestige here with New York, which is first, so the attractiveness within degree. Then, according to the network between the cities, um, and according to the regular equivalence of all the cities, and with an alpha density criterion, they uh, create a regular equivalence block modeling and so the image matrix contains 34 blocks that are there. The name of, of the blocks are the first ones, uh, the first cities according to the alphabetic order in each block. Also they qualify the 34 blocks according to the number of cities here, their out degree in proportion to the total out degree of all the, the graph in total, the, their um, in degree uh, out the, uh, in proportion of the total in degree also of all the graph, and the links they exchange mutually in proportion to their outreach links. The first block, which contained London, New York, Paris, and Tokyo, sent out outside uh, here 37% of the total outreach links of the world. And at the opposite, they received 40.6% uh, uh, of the total entering, entering linkages. And they changed mutually 20.2, 22%. 0.8, excuse me, percent of the total internal linkages of the block. So then they assigned a position status to each block according to the typology proposed by Martsen. So the primary 
here correspond to high out degree towards of log, high in degree and high clickishness. It is the uh, the core of the of the graph. Then they define also high status click with also high clickishness, high in degree, but a low out degree, and they depend of the primary block also with in degree. Lower status here are also with high clickishness, but low in degree and quite high, high out degree. The snob status has a high in degree, but a very low clickishness. So the cities are quite alone. And much more alone, all, most of the cities of, ne of the network are isolated, so with a very low clickishness, and they correspond to the periphery. So this is the, the image of the reduced graphs formed by the different blocks of the model. So with this, they, um, uh, they assign the core semi-periphery and periphery uh, status respectively to each, each city in order to test the correspondence between cities' positions and their respective country positions. They did not use a classical correlation because network data violate the independent assumption of standard statistics. Instead, they used a test der derived from permutation test that we'll see in the following courses. Rather, however, the interpretation is the same than a classical regression here. The result shows that population matters a lot and large cities have more power and prestige. In combination, the position has core, semi-periphery and periphery create an order. Core cities are more powerful than uh, semi-periphery that have more um, that have more even than periphery. Crossing directly the different statues, primary click, uh, snobs, and isolated, um, they they cross with semi-periphery, periphery, and they keep population as a control variable. So they implement a logistic model combining a permutation test and a two-tailed test. Again, population size matter a lot. And also, there's a, there is a primary block and negative for isolated here. So the main result of the study is that the ordering of cities' power and prestige is consistent with the one of their respective country. However, they found little evidence of some new geography of centrality. Beyond the strict result of this study, this example shows interest to use different steps in the network approach allowing to combine different methods. So first, measure of structural centrality, then regular equivalence, a block modeling to make clustering, and then an explanation by correlation models.